Last week, the Housing Ministry approved a transit-oriented development policy for Delhi, allowing construction of projects along various mass transit corridors for Delhi to go higher vertically. Now, this could actually significantly alter the relatively low-rise skyline of Delhi. Joining us to discuss uh, how successful this policy could be in changing the face of Delhi and the biggest problem Delhiites face, reducing the congestion of traffic on roads. We are joined by Ashok Bhattacharji, advisor to Centre for Science and Environment, who of course was a key part in formulating this policy. So Mr. Mr. Bhattacharji, thank you very much for joining in today. I think the first question everybody has is that if I look at mass transit corridor, we are talking about metro and we are talking areas flanking the metro. Most of them seem to be fairly congested. So, where is land for large-scale mixed-use redevelopment projects? Do you think it's going to be an easy task to identify these parcels of land, sir? Uh, actually, I would like to say that it is not so easy as of today. Mm -hmm. But point is, that is why we need to have a complete city-level study okay. for identifying those areas around the metro station. But now the pilot project in Karkaduma Kar is precisely taken up mm -hmm. for having a pilot project which will give a kind of model for development in future and simultaneously all other station areas could be taken up for Okay, so let's then focus on Karkaduma. That's a 30 hectare of 30, hectare 30 of land. acres of land. 30 hectare of land. 30 hectare of land. All right, so 30 hectare of land in East Delhi, very close to the metro, as well as another new station, railway station mm. there. So that seems completely the place for development to happen, a mixed use mm. development to happen. My question to you is that uh, are you envisaging private developers to actually bid for it? No, actually, this as a pilot project, what has happened that DDA is taking up this project. Mm -hmm. They have given it to NBCC All for right. the construction, even the project consultancy and the construction both. So NBCC, which has a fabulous yeah. track record, mm -hmm. is going to do it. Mm -hmm. So there, there are no tenders open, but this was just mm -hmm. given to NBCC. Yeah. All right. Now, the biggest uh, problem which... Maybe in future, NBCC will not be able to do all of these projects. You will have to open up to private developers. Is that the mindset that, look, we would like to encourage uh, private development? It has to be because such large scale kind of area, because it is almost transforming the city. Mm -hmm. It's a paradigm shift, transforming the city from the present car oriented uh, kind of development to transit oriented development. So naturally, we need to have all the metro stations around area to be developed as a TOD. Mm -hmm. Now, point one point is very important. The TOD is a transit oriented development, but development part of you know built up area is there. There are certain areas only transit friendly uh, development needs to be taken up. Mm -hmm. So an area which cannot be redeveloped, but it is needed to have a transit friendly development in terms of walking, cycling spaces, and more towards you know public transit. Uh, facilities all around that to encourage people to use transit. Hmm. Uh, so that is a very important step all over Delhi. But that's going to be a huge challenge. That is not a very huge, huge challenge because you know the street design guidelines which is part of the TOD guidelines, if that is adopted then the entire city streets hmm. and the network can be developed in a transit friendly way. So that is one thing which is already there as an approved one that needs to be taken up by the agencies so that people start, you know, that, that gets transformed first. And second will be the redevelopment of those areas where, you know, one hectare of land could be, you know, pulled and then a developer can All right. Mr. Bhattacharji, the record that we've had over past is that we are good at planning but very, very mm -hmm. slow in executing. Mm -hmm. And there is a genuine capacity issue. Mm -hmm. At, at an execution level, because you will need to involve the MCD, you will need to involve local authorities, the state governments, there is a centre which has made out the plan, and several bodies have to come together. How do you meet the execution challenge? Is there a thought? Actually, uh, this uh, capacity building is very important. As of today, I must say that that much of capacity is not We don't have that capacity there. in Even terms of planning human power planning. Even planning is done for TOD for the last three, four years by a team very nicely. But thing is that if taking it through the process of implementation, management, and enforcement, because all things are related in a TOD. If it's a compact development, it has to have a different kind of setup, different kind of mix. It has to have a network. It has to, you know, parking. So there are a number of issues which need to be not only planned, it has mm. to be implemented, executed. executed, which is a big challenge because as of today, we are not 
We or don't have the capacity. Are not, uh, capacity. Okay. Yeah. So, is there a thought on how will you overcome that challenge? Is is it a, uh, because already Delhi has this huge crisis of a state and the crisis of trust between the state government and centre. This is a centre government approved plan. Now you need to get the state government to actually approve it and enable all the organisations to come together. The point is that one window kind of approval process, which has been also part of, which is also part of this. They're theory. talking about it, but so far, even in states, sir, and you will agree, and we have, we do keep getting feedback from developers where there is a single window clearance, it is actually not getting implemented. Uh, I think you have to admit that this is something new, which is happening. We need to wait and see. And we can't be negative about it right up yeah, front. All right. So, so my final question to you would be, which I think all viewers living in the National Capital Region and the others who are watching uh, Delhi as the model city for India, it is after all the landing city of all the dignitaries of the world. When do you think, if implemented rightly, could you see the face of Delhi changing and actually for the congestion of Delhi traffic to come down? Actually, if everything is taken together, rightly done, particularly Karkadoma project should come within, say, maybe five years' time. Mm -hmm. And then other things simultaneously taken up, maybe another five, ten years' time, things will start changing. In ten years, you think there could I, be I a think complete so, But the right together. direction, right, you know, uh, all stakeholders together working on the same, you know, uh, direction and coordinated is there a magic monitor. wand that we can get everybody magic to start wand, working it, it, together I, 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 no, I think that it's more of intention of doing something together uh -huh. and doing something right i uh, think it is good. intention is more important than how oh, we have a capability we have everything we have very good professionals who are working in this they all can join together in order to do that it is so, possible it, but the intention has to be there. Well, at the moment, people tell us stories. We are in the monsoon. We are seeing roads flooded and people taking out canoes in water. So they say that we don't have to go to Venice. You can just enjoy this in some parts of our country. So there are lots of challenges. But that doesn't stop us from planning yeah. and hoping that we will get the execution right. <laughs> Mr. Bhattacharji, thank you very much for joining in today. All right. So that was a really, really interesting discussion on how Delhi could actually get a facelift.